What's going on Team CP9, it's your boy Pinochinobi. So today there's been a drop, a massive drop of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer information. I'm actually not too sure where this information is coming from, whether it's from Eurogamer or somewhere else because Eurogamer did start today but I'm not sure if they're doing multiplayer or not so maybe that's where all this brand new multiplayer information is coming out from but right now there's actually a lot of information that we didn't know before and I'm about to go through some of it in this video. So the first bit of new information that we got for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer are the new multi-team game modes which we actually got to see during Gamescom and during the multiplayer trailer. So from the information it says at launch three modes will be playable with up to three different teams within the regular assortment of playlists. These three teams can be made up of three or four players. Treyarch calls these three times threes or three times fours. Multi-team game modes include Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, which I guess is coming back, and Hardpoint, which is one of the leaked game modes that we talked about a few months ago. Next up we have Party Games, which is pretty much the same thing as Wager Match. You guys know if you played Black Ops what Wager Match is and that there's four game modes in it. There's Gun Game, Sticks and Stones, One in a Chamber, and Sharp Shooter. Although there's no card points in this game, I'm not too sure what the wagering will be or if there is even anything to win. And finally we have Combat Training Mode which is coming back from the original Black Ops. It says, Combat Training Mode is now integrated into the main game and will include three different modes at launch. Boot Camp. In Boot Camp, players can rank up from level 1 to 10 while gaining full experience. This playlist is solely made up of the Team Deathmatch game mode and pits one team of humans and bots against another team of humans and bots. This eases the level of expectation placed on someone who may be new to the game. That sounds perfect. I know Boot Camp was in World at War, was it? And now they've pretty much mixed it with Combat Training Mode where you're going to be placed with a bunch of noobs and a bunch of bots. So if you're new to the game, this is the perfect thing for you. Next Combat Training Game Mode that we have is called Objective. Here players can rank past level 10 but will not earn the full amount of XP. Once again, two teams made up of both humans and bots are pitted against each other in various objective-based game modes. I don't know how they're going to make this work, especially with the bots, you know, let's say they're playing search and destroy or demolition, how are the bots supposed to know when they should or when they shouldn't plant the bomb, you know? But then again, this is a good thing for players who've never played objective games before or noobs who are just new to Call of Duty in general. And the last combat training game mode is called Bot Storm. No XP is earned in Bot Storm. Quite simply, a team of humans is pitted against a team of bots, great for practice, map knowledge and nailing down the basics of Call of Duty. This is pretty much the original combat training mode from the first Call of Duty Black Ops where it's just you and your team against the other team of bots. So this is pretty much good for anyone who's new to the game or just wants to mess around. The next part to this information is called customization and it says all game modes are customizable in Black Ops 2. Bots can be added to almost all game modes if the team needs filling out, for example. Players will also have the power to restrict content like search and attachments, perks, and equipment. Interestingly, players will also be able to redesign the pick 10 system to either a pick 3 to pick 17 system and anything in between. This can make for some extremely skill based matches when weapons, perks and equipment are limited to only 3 slots. A slew of competitive settings and options have also been thrown in, including how FFA, TDM and CTS are scored, the ability to turn off third person spectating, the ability to disable the announcer and a whole lot more. That kinda got confusing at times, especially when it said CTS, I think they meant CTF like capture the flag. I'm not too sure if this customization is available on multiplayer or if it's limited to private match. So that's that's it for the game modes, I have a lot more information to give to you guys so if you enjoyed this video please do let me know and uh, yeah more of this Black Ops 2 multiplayer information on the way.